Hey guys, welcome to the Coding Monk. In this video tutorial, we'll be learning about how you can build images for your Kubernetes application. Now, when you are using Kubernetes, we need to give an image which contains all the things, how your server will be running, what kind of plugins your server have, what kind of programming language you are using in that server and where your source code is located in your server. So all these things you need to add in your image and then you need to spin up a container based on that docker image. So first we'll be creating a docker file which contains base image and then we will do other things. So here is a very simple docker file which uses php apache stretch as a base image and then we are specifying our work directory or we can say our code directory to where www.html and then I have created one index.php it is very simple php file it's here and it is says hello just hello so after building this image and then your kubernetes can access those images you can also install your plugins into this server so to extend these images for example we are using php 7.3 apache stretch and we want to install curl into this image then we need to run extension install command so to install curl we need to specify command docker php ext install curl so this is how you can also install various extension which you will be using on your server so currently i am not installing curl so i am just removing this line and so that's it. This is just a basic Docker file with code hello there in index.php. So now we need to build this image. To build image, we need to go to upper directory and then we need to write docker build and then I need to specify directory in which my docker file is located. So directory is docker and then minus t for tag if you want to specify any tag then you can specify it here and then name of your image i am giving it a php apache and i am also giving my docker hub id so just enter and as you can see image is produced now let's run this image using docker run command locally this is the command to run this image docker run minus minus name this is the container name which is php minus t is for tag and then let's run this image so it says php is the container name php is already used so we need to specify other name so let's specify php apache and as you can see it is running so this is the ip address of container you can also inspect the ip address by using docker inspect command and giving the container id so let's go to the browser so this is how you can build your own image now let's push this image into docker hub now to push this docker image you need to write docker image push and then your docker hub id and the name of the repository i am specifying php apache and then just enter okay it says image doesn't exist locally so I made a mistake in this PHP Apache name now let's enter and as you can see it is pushing to docker hub wait for a little bit and then you'll be able to see image in here in your repository so as you can see image is pushed to docker hub repository if I reload this page then I might be able to find my repository here as you can see it is here now anybody can access this image and spin up their container using this image because this repository is public if you want to make this repository private then you can go to settings and then you can click on this make private button docker hub provide one private repository for free if you want more then you can subscribe to many other plans so this is how you can build your image and upload or push to your docker hub account and then when you spin up your kubernetes nodes you can use this image you can also specify tag name which is kind of version for your image 
using docker push command so this is all about how you can build images using docker and how you can push it to your docker hub and in future tutorials we'll be learning about how you can utilize these images to spin up your container on kubernetes so this is all about building images in docker thank you very much